we're all a little weird. Don't say that you're not because I know that I'm a freak. Not a fact, not a thought. So it's safe to say that I'm a freak, you're a freak, we're all freaky. Let me tell you how I'm freaky, but I'm not the joke. You see, I have diseases that have taken me over. I'm an asthmatic, arthritic freak show, but that's not all. I have allergies to milk, eggs, peanuts, cats, and dogs. I have a concave chest and Crohn's disease to top it all off. I'm in the doctor's office every six weeks. They draw my blood for testing and then they give me an IV. Now, lying in a hospital bed for three hours sounds defeating, but I do not let my shortcomings and diseases define me. Even when my allergies heightened, my asthma start attacking, I begin suffocating. When my body becomes so arthritic, I cannot get out of bed and begin walking to the bathroom because I feel as if my bowels are gonna blow out of me. But that's just Crohn's disease. When I pop three pills in the morning daily, just to feel like me. But even then, I'm a mess for my meds, fighting with the side effects. So obviously, obviously, I'm nothing short of freaky. I've been teased for the freak I am. I know the bully in the mirror and the bullies in the class. I've been rejected by the rejects, deemed too freaky for the freaks. And I believed the lies about me because the insults were put on repeat and I wanted it all to be over, but the humiliating degradations continued to make others laugh with glee. So now I laugh with them because I learned that I am far from perfection and after I put it under further inspection, I learned that perfection is a lie unless it is the maker who's divine and the maker has told me in Psalm 139 that I am and you are the loves of his life, the twinkle in his eye. And for you and for me, he gave up his life on the cross. We know him is Christ. He says, we are fearfully a wonderfully man. Afraid that we would never worship his name, but he saw me and he knew I was built wonderfully, not perfectly, for a reason. It would be so that I would realize my desperate need for his overflowing and overpowering love and grace. And that is why I am a Jesus freak. I believed I was unlovable, but he loved me. I believed I was undesirable, but he desired this freak. I believed I was unforgivable, but he forgave me. I had a debt I could not pay, so he paid it. I had a life I cannot live, so he gave his. I had a breath I cannot take, so he exhales. I'm living in his love and his grace and never fails. And so, when I call myself a Jesus freak, it's because without Jesus, I am just a freak.